Hey everyone, in this quick video, I'm showcasing a GT2 pulley script I wrote to generate GT2 pulleys directly in Fusion 360. My plan is to add this script to the Fusion 360 marketplace, but if that doesn't work out, I'll release it on GitHub instead. Previously, I made a video about a high reduction ratio gearbox I built. I wrote this script because I needed to generate a pulley for that project. The image on your screen shows the design from that video. This script is really handy, but it took me more than two weekends to get it fully functional. If I can get it on the marketplace, installation should be straightforward. Otherwise, I'll make another video explaining how to install it manually. To use the script, go to Create and click on Create GT2 Pulley, which opens this dialog box. The options are straightforward. You can adjust the number of teeth, bore diameter, which matches your shaft diameter, belt width. Common options are 6mm or 10mm, like those used in 3D printers, and guide height, which helps prevent the belt from slipping off the pulley. There are also two additional options, one for exporting your settings and another for importing previously saved settings. For this demonstration, I'll change the number of teeth to 45 and click OK. As you can see, a pulley is generated. I've added 1 mm to the belt width internally, so the actual height of the teeth area is 7 mm. I'll export these settings and save them as GT45 teeth 2 mm. The script automatically loads the last used settings every time you run it. So now I'll import the settings I just saved, and there you have it, imported successfully. If you check the history, you'll notice several steps taken by the script to generate the pulley. I initially tried using a base feature to keep things clean, but that didn't work out, so I've grouped all the operations into one. Let me quickly demonstrate one known issue with this script. If there's an existing body, it can interfere with the operation and cause errors. For example, if I create a pulley with 20 teeth and click OK, you'll see an error message. To avoid this, try hiding any existing bodies that might interfere with the process. And here's what the result looks like. The error occurs because the script can't generate the circular pattern if a body is present. I'll try to find a solution for this issue in the future. But if I undo a couple of steps, hide the existing body, and create a new pulley, it works perfectly. Now, I'll quickly cut this pulley and print it for a demo. All right, here we have the printed pulley. The teeth look perfectly matched to this belt. There are quite a few videos online that demonstrate how to generate a GT2 profile and at least one existing Fusion 360 project that can be downloaded as a reference. However, I wasn't too happy with their approximation of the tooth profile. I'm not saying this is a perfect approximation, but it includes all the necessary parts, or should I say, lines and curves, that actually make up the tooth profile of the GT2 pulley. 
Thanks a lot for watching this video. If you found this script helpful, please give the video a like and subscribe for more exciting videos and solutions.